Hello and uh, welcome back again now uh, for another video from trainingright.com. Uh, this time uh, we'll be talking about uh, how we could be capturing um, uh, some data from the application back into Selenium. Um, something of uh, like if you have been doing uh, QTP, there's something called get o, uh, RO property. Um, that's what we are trying to do here in uh, uh, Selenium. Well, um, so I'm going to quickly walk you through how I would be doing that um, as a part of uh, my eBay application. Manually, I'll be just showing it to you, and then quickly we'll put in the code and see how we're going to be doing it uh, through our code in uh, uh, Selenium. Okay, uh, get started here. I have one of the browsers open in here, uh, which um, basically is talking about uh, you know how you could be reading anything if you need to read uh, using our expat because uh, when you try to do that while uh, we are running our script uh, using um, Selenium uh, you would be opening a different session um, so you might not be able to do that at that time unless you go ahead and then open a, um, a profile as what we have in here so don't worry about this so let's um, go ahead and then um, uh, open a new um, browser here uh, let me do that by going into Mozilla and uh, uh, here is my shortcut to eBay so I'm going to be going into eBay and uh, uh, all right this is what we want to do two things uh, first of all uh, we'll be typing something in here uh, which is Lakers uh, uh, I don't know maybe just Lakers uh, I guess and then uh, uh, down here in the drop down I want to make sure that I, I select something all right so um, since Lakers is a uh, 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 sports uh, uh, basketball team in uh, from California um, so we want to find out like if they have uh, anything in the sporting goods section for them so I select from the drop down the sporting goods sec um, the sporting goods uh, as as uh, uh, as my selection and I'm gonna be clicking on this search so when I do that um, it is going to come back with uh, uh, some number of uh, uh, results. Uh, this is 538 results. Um, so that's what we want to capture. So all that we want to do it in uh, our uh, um, script uh, about writing code into um, Eclipse. All right. So in order to do that, this is what I will be doing. I'll uh, start fresh. I'm gonna go here, open Eclipse. Uh, Eclipse. I'm gonna run that, and then Eclipse is gonna come back. Uh, and ask me where do, where do I want to save my workspace uh, that's fine all right now if you see from our previous uh, from our previous uh, video uh, I had already written that script if you have watched that video you notice that uh, I did explain to you the uh, instantiation of an object um, and then uh, providing the parameters here um, to the default Selenium class, which will go ahead and then open a Firefox browser, uh, navigate to eBay.com. Uh, then we are opening uh, that, and then we maximize the window. Uh, we set the focus on that window, and then we set the speed between uh, just to slow down the code a little bit so that we can watch what's happening. And then we had uh, uh, found uh, the XPath for that uh, web edit. I'm, I'm calling it as web edit because uh, <laughs> coming back from QTP. But it's a, it's a text box rather, and then we are typing in that text box Lakers tickets. This time I'm just going to be uh, taking away the tickets portion of it. I'm just going to be typing La uh, Lakers. And uh, rather than going ahead and then clicking on that uh, on that uh, button, what I'll do is uh, I'll make that uh, selection from that selection from uh, where from that uh, from this from this right so we, we will select the sporting goods from here so now the question is uh, I go and then find the expat for this all right okay so for that uh, what I would do is I'm just gonna close that uh, open a new instance of my of my browser go to eBay and uh, I'm gonna go here for my tools uh, bring up my firebug and uh, um, down here, I have my um, this click an element in the page to inspect, and when I do that, uh, what it is going to do is it is going to give me um, give me uh, something like an object spy of what we have from QTP. Um, and I could go ahead and then I could 
find the x path of that so i i select that uh it gives me here because uh, i have not installed firepath which is the add-on on uh the firebox so that's going to going to give me the x path of that object um or the element so i'm just going to copy that and come back into my code and then uh i am going to uh say that um hey selenium object um go ahead and then do a select right uh the select method of that uh comes with two arguments the first argument is the xpath so i'm just gonna uh, copy paste that xpath uh, and uh we'll make sure that uh, it is in the double quotes so here is my double quote open and here is my double quote ends uh okay now the second argument is okay we know that we have to go and select from this from this element which is the drop down right but select what so that's the second argument so in my second argument i am going to say uh label label equals what was that sporting goods right um so sporting goods all right so i am going to do that now this label is um remember in that um in the drop down in the drop down as uh we saw here in the drop down uh we have all of these right different values right so these um the the qtp um or rather the selenium <laughs> selenium um uh identifies these 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 values in there uh, as a name value pair so the name is label and the value is whatever is the value let's say if i have to select book so i would say label equals book if i have to say computer and networking i would say label equals computer and networking and that's uh, basically what i did here so i said label equals sporting goods okay it is going to select that and once it selects it is going to go into uh rather click on that and then go to the next page and in the next page um this is what we want to do in the next page and so in the next page uh let's say if i go ahead and then uh do lakers i'm doing it manually here so i'm doing lakers and then i'm going and then selecting my um uh, what was that um uh sporting goods and hit out search and uh okay this we have come up with 538 right these are this many items they found so i need to capture that so if i need to capture this value i need to know the x path of that so i'm just gonna go and take uh my uh or rather select this item let me just go ahead click on that and uh well why is it doing it the okay here it is uh when i click on that when i click on that it gives me right here it gives me the value of the x path so i have to go and uh, get the text get the text from this x path location so how i'm going to do that I'm just going to come here and uh, i would say uh once i go there i have the option of um uh doing obj obj selenium obj selenium dot um i would say get uh text right get text now get text as a method takes one argument the argument here is uh the path the x path so i gave that x path right okay so it is going to return that and when it returns it um we would basically put it in a variable so i'm just gonna uh create a variable i will say string and uh, this is str uh i can say app output app output equals so it is going to return that into the string app output and we will print that so i'm gonna say sys um sys o control space bar and in here i am going to say um ebay uh application found for our search right um in okay so i will use the concatenation operator which is a plus and then i will do a str app output right um so ebay application found um for our search this many right so i will say this many items right 
um, items. Okay, so I mean, however you want to see. Okay, so uh, the the goal here is uh, we have basically uh, learned two new things in this video: uh, how to select, how to select from a drop down, how to select, right? And so select is basically a, a method. Uh, of my selenium object which takes two arguments the first argument is the x path of that then the second thing is what you need to select and then finally uh, once we click uh, it is going to give us uh, some output 56 395 whatever that number is so i get the text from that location x path location and i um, basically uh, i'm reading it into a variable so i showed you how to declare a variable in here and then we put that variable into the print window all right okay uh let us uh just for the heck of it i'm just gonna uh close uh my all my windows and uh um run it and see what happens okay here we go um it is trying to open as we can see here it had opened that remote control and then here is my here is my ebay it is going to maximize that in a second there it goes it is going to type lakers for me in there and then um in the sporting goods it selected clicked on that and here is my 538 results found for lakers okay now let us go back and see if it captured that 538 oh here we are um so right here it says ebay application found for our search 538 items well that's it um so in this short video from trainingright.com i have sh um, showed you um how we could be reading um the values back from the application into back into our eclipse now once we read this once we have this information we could be writing that information either to a excel sheet or to an xml file or to a text file or to a database um in our future uh, classes uh, what i'll be doing is i'll be showing you as how to capture that output from the application and how we could write it into a database the database will be either access database or a sql server database or for that matter we could write that into the quality control um, by um, by um, writing it into a text file uh, as the data captured from the application and then uploading that uh, um file text file or excel file uh, uh into maybe qc or maybe into any other uh repository which uh, um our client would be using well thank you for watching uh this video and we hope to see you again in another video or um better into one of our classes uh just to um give you a little idea of uh, uh who we are and what we do um i just want to bring your attention to our website here uh we are trainingright.com and we do have uh, a number of courses um if you are interested in software automation uh testing we have uh, uh let's go here we have um, qdp training we have selenium training and we have soap ui web services training uh, if you visit our um, website and the class dates, you will get to know when we are starting our next batch, what batches are running right now, um, well, and uh, what's the cost of, uh, uh, of each uh, course. Uh, uh, you have so many free videos which are available to you when you go in here. I have posted a lot of videos on YouTube.com, uh, but we also have a lot of other videos uh, which are not there on YouTube, but we could, you could visit our site and you could watch uh, those free videos in here. Well, thank you again for um, you know, watching our video, and uh, um, we hope to see you in one of our classes, training classes.